So you're down to zero, I've done zero. I think what we're gonna do is, if you don't beat the game on this last life, we're gonna do one more time and then we're going to hang up our hats and call ourselves King Graham. Okay. Ooh, ooh, King, fuck you, Cedric. Punch in the mouth of Cedric the Owl. You have a weird problem with Cedric. Why do you hate Cedric, Blake? Because the voice actor did him was, 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 was eating a bag of shit. Look where I am now, like, I'm in the forest, isn't it beautiful? This is a giant ass trees. Oh god. And then this you game see... has some fear hold hold there. Hard hardware limitations? Yeah. And there you see the ass trees of the sound game. That that's it, that that is the best part of the game, is this animation that you're not quite sure clear what it what it means. You know, you could make a good like little jelly. Okay. You're not shooting your lightning. Oh, sorry. Okay. You're, no, I'm sorry. You'll get one chance. One shot to sit on your lazy butt. I don't like being underwater. My favorite Eminem song, song is Eminem's. They melt in your mouth. Just like your dad. I think so much melt in my mouth, but it's just like explode my own life. <laughs> hey everybody, if you're a masturbating right now, now is your cue to violently come. Come violently, everybody. Oh, can he swim? Yeah. What the fuck is the point of the ladder? He swims faster than the ladder! Do you have to, oh, do you have to go to the- Okay, for a second I thought you had to go to the bottom of the ladder, <laughs> and I was going to flip my shit. I was gonna take my shit, and on a little podium, and just press some buttons, and it was gonna like, topple over. And then in was gonna come uh, Shigeru Miyamoto and goes and say something about flipping the tea table, and I would be like, this ain't no tea table, bitch, this is my shit! See, I was just gonna like take it and renovate it and sell it for a higher price and destroy the economy. Welcome to Flit Shippers. <laughs> Flit Shippers? Flit <laughs> Shippers. Welcome to Shit Flippers. <laughs> The that sentence actually isn't any realer than what you said initially. It's just, it was out of context, so it sounded stupid. Welcome to <laughs> out of context. It sounds stupid. Oh, hey, look. Wait. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> welcome, welcome to flitch. See what? What is that? And I call it flit ship shippers. <laughs> Hi, welcome to shit flippers. <laughs> welcome, welcome to shit flippers. Well, we are very bad at penguins. Welcome to well. Oh, that's a good idea. I hate it when Blake says that. Three club penguins! Let's go! Oh, I can't really do it. Um... Here's a trick I can do. Wait, I can't actually do it. Oh well! Or Al. So you can just walk up there, Blake. You don't need to walk off the spikes. God. Three ball penguins! Hard to do with three balls. No, I lost one. <clears throat> Hi there. Welcome to Shit Flippers, where we find shit and we figure out ways to make it worth more money so you can flip it. All right, let's take a look at your shit. All right, well, we're seeing some corn in there and there's a, a fair amount of nuts. Have you been eating a lot of nuts? I have been. I've what? been swallowing them by the bucket. All right, so well, let's figure a way to make a little bit more money with a few other adjustments. We're going to bring in Carl, who's an expert in design. All right, well, uh, my name's Carl. I'm looking to look at some expert ways we can improve your shit. Um, have you decided to drop gold in there? Why would you do that? Well, because it's, it's fucking shit. It's worthless. <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you considered being, being like a horse or cow? Because at least you can fucking sell that, you idiot. It seems very easy with the turbo button. Is that your regular gun, or are you using, you're using yeah, the, grenades? There's no grenades, I'm mm -hmm. using rapid fire grenades. Yay. Don't know what happened. Uh, you got... I got hypo. Good, finally got some energy on this show. Oh, maybe you can jump more. Maybe you can now get out of the water that you're currently stuck in. Oh, maybe. Hypo! Oh my god! I, I swear that that ladder has where it serves virtually no purpose. Because we're in virtual cyberspace. Hi, welcome to your cyberspace. And look, well, look, everybody, welcome to um, oh, sh ship, ship Flippers. Sh ship Flippers is the show where we put dolphin flippers on on military grade um, sea vessels. All right, let's take a look at this latest ship. 
Uh, uh, so well, I think uh, well, the downside is it doesn't move any faster. Upside is no more, it's no more maneuverable. But on the other hand, we did kill a lot of endangered uh, animals to get it done. Ship flippers, the show that you want to see. And now, um, uh, shift flitters. <laughs> I don't know what that one is. <laughs> and now it's um, uh, uh, shift shippers, where we find your work shifts and figure out ways to cause sh oh, relationships right. to happen at work. But remember, when you're working with your other uh, co-workers, don't get a staff infection. That's uh, the joke of the week. There you go, everybody. Right. We made week. a joke. Joke of the week. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, no, I fell in the water. This I'm not going to say anything else. Now that I said the joke of the week, we're done. Yeah, that's it. This is going to be long. Okay, starting from now on, nothing but long, awkward pauses. Hey, guys, this is going to be our speed run of, uh, of uh, Blaster Master. You will hear no commentary during this because we're really focusing, and so you can then use the footage to edit it together with music and possibly masturbate to. So that seems to be doing something. I mean, we know what we're doing. Oh, hello. We will, we will. What the fuck is that? That's, what have I done? Ah! That <laughs> lightning just took its time. And turning into area two. Oh god. You know oh, what god. You know what I like about that big message that says uh, entering into area two? Oh god, the fact that I can't kill any of these enemies? No, because it, the fact that it means absolutely nothing as far as I'm concerned. I really, like, I didn't know that we were in an area. It didn't say entering area one to start with. Those are Metroids. Those are gray Metroids. And I'm not sure, like, how many areas are there? How is one thing an area and another thing's not an area? It really offers very little in the way of explanation of where it's going. And do we want to return to Area 1 at some point? Or are we, are we done? Do we get everything? Is that just everything you need in that Area 1? I know I'm hyper now. You do sound hyper. Woohoo! da 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 the, the, Sorry, I don't have my glasses on, so things are a bit blurry. Uh, okay, here's what I'll say about this game. The graphics are pretty good. Yes. Um, I mean, for a Nintendo game that has ultimately pretty bland graphics, ah. they really maximize them well by giving everything some nice animations yeah. and distinct shapes. You can kind of tell what everything's supposed to be, which is not true for even some of the best uh, Nintendo games. Why, why, why my... Uh... Oh, come on. Oh, I guess it's totally gonna scroll back on. No! Uh, okay! You always want to scroll back on. But it's got, like, in many ways, it's got better graphics than, like, I don't know, a lot of first party Nintendo games. Like, Kid Icarus yeah. had very confusing graphics. You don't really know what, to be fair, I don't really know what I'm looking at here. No, it's true. Ah! That's ah. nice. It's well done. And the, the gameplay feels smooth. The only thing I would say is that it's hard and it's unclear exactly what you're supposed to do. This is a Nintendo Power game. Yeah. Like, this game, you really need, you need to have a magazine to beat this game. Which It's like, go, go here, then go here, then go here. Why? It's arbitrary. I was sort of thinking... Eight-foot game design. It's arbitrary! Hooray! I was sort of thinking, I wonder if the... Cause nowadays, the Mario games are incredibly accessible and, like, not that difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, can... like, 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 my, like my penis. Yeah, exactly. All I gotta do is reach down here, uh, hand on my dick. And then you you're know, sad. I probably didn't need to actually put my hand on my dick, but it, uh, I gotta say it, it helped build build a similitude. It build a similitude. And you know what? It was comforting. It reminded me of um, my oh, day, my days out on the farm. Remember when the pigs used to grab my dick? By pigs, of course, I mean the local constabulatory. I was raped by the police constantly. Oh yeah, who it was, was a... these days? <laughs> Who wasn't? Hey, if you weren't raped by the confabulatory, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you won't get off, we don't need your negativity. Uh, your Bre victim. <laughs> Brendan, the, 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 your sarcasm level and your darkness level there crossed over into territories that make you, like, exceedingly unlikable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I finally achieved my dream. <laughs> I finally achieved my dream of being chased by a thing with antlers and not being able to move. Hey! Wait. But just remember, folk kids, no matter what happens, if you work your hardest, and, and you can achieve your dreams. No. My dreams all involve monsters, and those monsters represent my repressed memories of my father. Alright, my turn, my turn, I'm left too. 
Boo. I will. Next time on Super Spirit Brothers, we'll left two, arena two, area two, beyond camera two.